but he couldn't. Raila Odinga was so smart politically to outdo Uhuru Kenyatta for any political process. So Uhuru realized that he cannot do it alone. He had to go and look for Raila Odinga. Uhuru Kenyatta lied to us and told us that whatever they have agreed with Raila Odinga has got nothing to do with 2022 presidential elections. He kept telling us that. When I was supporting him, you remember I was supporting Uhuru Kenyatta, he told us that many times, that they have discussed maneno ya umoja wa Kenya, maneno ya, ya political development and economic development, lakini hawa kuongea maneno ya 2022 presidential elections. He kept telling us that. But that is not what we are seeing. So we actually can conclude he actually lied to us. Because now we can see all oh, his right hand men and left hand men are all supporting Raila Odinga. We have seen the Mount Kenya Foundation. They are now bragging how they are going to make Raila a president against our wish and our will. So what Alice Wahome said is true. Uhuru Kenyatta is looking for continuity but he has no way of getting it and therefore he's trying to parade Raila Odinga to provide that continuity. We are retrogressing into the dark corners of Moi era when we have proposals like the ones I'm discussing today of allowing a registrar of political parties become imperial. That is retrogressive. We are actually driving back to the Moi era, to the dark eras of the 80s and the 90s. And therefore, I am not going to sit as a member of parliament, as a young woman, as an, uh, an educated woman. On behalf of my people of Kiambu, I will not coil back and sit and, and, and sit pretty. I must speak out, I must say it as it is. We are not going to allow to get an imperial uh, pre, uh, political party registrar. And there is no day we, la we are going to allow a political party registrar micromanage and meddle the affairs of a political party because that means mtoto ambaye anauza kahawa kwa soko ambaye angetaka kuwa MP kama hajulikani na hayo mafamilia ma dynastic huyo mtoto hata pata nomination ya political party kuwa kiongozi managed our nomination tuliona kijana ambaye alikuwa anauza kahawa kwa soko akikuwa MCA wa Dhika ukweli ama si ukweli Tulipata kijana ambaye alikuwa analisha ngombe kule Meru akikuwa MP ukweli sio kweli because politic IBC had no business knowing who it is that is being given nomination but if you allow an individual a registrar of political party to call shots and say so and so is going to be nominated as a governor so and so is going to be nominated as a woman rep let me tell you watoto wa wanyonge na maskini anybody who has had a voice against the government and the system will not get nominated and that is where we are going to if we do not speak out against this bill. Number two, we cannot have a few individuals who have already negotiated for their future uh, uh, position. Bill ya political parties bill imepita. Wale unaona akina kioni na hao wengine. Hao ni watu tayari wamekaa chini na Raila Odinga, wame negotiate ya kwamba wanajua kwa wana nyandaru wa hawezi chaguliwa na chama ya Raila. They have already negotiated for positions. So that when, if, if Raila is going to be elected, they are going to be given certain positions. So those people are not negotiating and fighting in Bunge on behalf of their people of Nyandarwa. They are fighting for their own because they know if Raila is becoming president, they are going to get positions. But they know very well what wa Nyandarwa hawezi wachagua kama wanaungana na Raila Odinga. So let us be frank and be open. This is a new year. Wacha tuonge ukweli na ukweli usemwe. Sisi tumekataa kupatiwa Raila Odinga changuvu kama dawa. Jameni tunapatiwa Raila Odinga changuvu kama dawa ya kumeza changuvu. Hatu katukubali. Uhuru Kenyatta should retire very honorably. Honorably, like a gentleman. Stop pushing Uhuru Kenya, uh, Raila Odinga to us. Just retire. Come home. Sit with us there. Discuss with them. Have your peace. Wachana na hao Raila Odinga na William Ruto na hao wengine wapambane. Yule mwanaume kuliko yule mwingine apate kiti tumuite president. Lakini Uhuru Kenyatta should honorably retire calmly like a gentleman and he should be mum on matters 
of elections. Called you here, members of the press, because I've realized that our Kenyans don't understand why we are fighting in parliament. By the way, they don't understand. Yesterday, I spent a whole day with my wazes in my home area in Gedongori, and I was asking Waze, do you know why we are fighting? They are saying, no, we don't know why you people are fighting. They don't understand. They don't understand that somebody is seated pretty somewhere in Lovington, crafted an amendment and a law that is going to down, downgrade and erode all the gains we made when we are fighting for second, uh, second liberation of this country, what we call the multipartism. If you remember, the Paul Moites of this world, the Mother Karuas of this world, the Ritu Wangari Madais of this world, they fought through sweat and blood to have political parties, freedom, and democracy. This is what this bill is taking away, and we cannot sit and watch. The civil societies are quiet in this country. They no longer speak. Everything has been left for Tatanga Tanga and peace. We are the opposition and the whistleblowers and uh, everything because people went quiet. I don't know why they went quiet, but people went quiet. I am happy that Mother Karoa, being a party leader of NAC Kenya, has also raised her voice and said no. She has asked very, very pertinent questions concerning this bill. Why are we rushing this bill? Do you know why Raila Odinga and Azimio Lawale Wanao Zimika Wana Kimbiza he bill? It's because they've realized they cannot con people anymore. Now what they're trying to do is create timelines within which this coalition political party should be formed so that they can lock out some people and once they know they are being locked out, they will rush without much negotiations to them for a coalition. The terms and conditions of a coalition making that were there during NASA, those terms and conditions cannot apply today. Kwa sababu Moses Wetangula, Kalonzo Musioka, and the rest of the people have realized they were conned. Some of us, by the way, were punished by our political parties for voting no against what they wanted. Some of us are not cowards. And you know Amuchoba is never a coward. I am not going to sit pretty. Whether I will be called from State House or wherever, to vote for something I believe is going to be retrogressive for the democracy of this country. And therefore, powers of IEBC, as mandated by the Kenyan constitution to micromanage political parties, must be protected. And any amendment or proposal that says otherwise is not going to be passed. I am one of those that are going to stand tall and say no to retrogressive amendments that are going to bring this country back to where we were during Moy's era. No to imperial political party registrar. Imperial ne kuga moto we na more powers. Na try try kunya IBC. Why should we deprive IBC the opportunity to do their work and give it to the political party registrar? Kabisa. <laughs> Good. Incidentally, most people don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.